Hello you guys and welcome back to the next video in the Journal Your Story series. This is, we are talking about Passionately Curious. So if you got the kit, it would be this journal card here. And it basically states that, Passionately Curious, and it has this really cute, um, really pretty butterfly on it. And this is, if you're wondering where these um, journal cards came from, these are from Vicki Boyton. Booten. I always mispronounce that. Vicki Booten. I love her artwork. I love her uh, her uh, line of uh, journaling and scrapbooking supplies. So, um, so yeah. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. So, I um, basically, I kind of went back and forth. I personally find myself passionately curious about many, many things. I realize art, um, music, uh, just creativity in general, uh, other people's cultures. Uh, so there's just a wide range of things that you can be curious about. You could be curious about um, your future, setting goals, anything goes. Anything goes for this particular prompt, right? So, but what stuck out in my mind was my family. And my Actually, my grandfather, he wrote a memoir of, t of sort of things about his, um, about him growing up and just different stories, and it's called The Way It Used to Be, and I am so, so thankful that my one aunt really encouraged him to write all his stories down. So I have that as such a treasure, and actually, um, in my long-term goals, I really, really want to write him a memoir and have it published because it's so interesting. Um, and just his life in general, I find is just amazing. So anyway, um, jumping back to this photo in particular, this is actually a photo of my great aunt, and this is actually my grandfather's older sister. Now, when you look at the family history, my, she and my aunt were, were born, my one aunt was born one year and then there's a pretty big span of years between like when she's this age my grandfather is about five years old so he a lot of times I took him a, a book with her photos in it and he didn't he knew some of the things but he didn't know all of the things so um, because there was that huge span of years between them so by the time that he was growing up she was already moved on and those kind of things so I have lots, I, I, she was my favorite aunt, and I'm just going to read you guys this um, so that you know exactly where I'm going to, how I'm going to document this in my journal. So, um, and then stepping back to that too, just when you keep a journal, to me, you can do past, present, and future, and I think that I mentioned that in the previous uh, video, um, that this is, uh, for me, this is a project that I want to, I want to do all the things, you know, try to, um, look at the future, do the present, document the present, and document the past. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I'm, that's, this is the approach that I'm taking on this project, but believe me, you can do anything, um, that you want. You could do, I really was kind of thinking about doing passionately like curious about, because I also am a big researcher, and I love to research different people's lives, and so you could do that also. Um, so anyway, just to kind of broaden your horizons and 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 just think about what what you're passionate about and you could write that story in your journal okay so just real quickly I want to read over this um, I typed this up because um, it was late one night and I really wanted to fit a lot of words on here um, but I wasn't really sure so I just started typing and then this is what I used an old font of traveling uh, typewriter so that way it kind of gave it that uh, really um, older kind of um, look to the actual words so it says I am passionately curious about the life you lived after leaving your childhood home where did you go to work when did you marry your uncle when did you marry uncle Jesse that's her husband that she had married um, how did you meet? What was your favorite thing to do? I know you love the outdoor flowers and the beach. Why did you why did why did you move each time? She lived at the beach. Um, so I mean there's all these questions that I wish I would have been able to ask her. Um, why did you where were you living after your dad passed? This was a big ordeal in our family was when my grandfather great grandfather passed. My that was when um, my grandpa and his 
mom and my other aunt, they were already grown up, um, moved into Austin. So that's a whole other story in itself. They moved from living in the country to moving in the city. Um, did you spend time in Austin? I wish I knew what an average day was like for you as a young grown up. I am passionately curious. What was, what was it that made all kids love you so? Everyone in our family, that's me and beyond, my mom, my dad, they just love this Aunt Yola. <laughs> and I just want to know what was it that so many people just loved her. I just, it's amazing how there's not, I've never heard one negative thing about her. And it's just, I find that just amazing that so many people loved her. Um, my great aunt Yola Bates Moore, I put her whole name in there, including her maiden name. Um, this is me talking about her. So that way if someone is flipping through my journal, you know, after I'm gone or something like that, they're going, well, who is this person and why is she in the journal and what is, and it's another way of documenting. Um, and I wanted to tell my story, you know, about her. So, um, I put in there, uh, she was one of the most amazing women I knew. She passed away when I was 10 years old, but her memories felt like she was with me yesterday. I knew her as one of my favorite people that lived across the street when I, where I grew up. We were really fortunate. I didn't realize at the time that we all kind of lived on the same street. My grandparents, my great aunt, and uh, so that was, I, I don't realize what a blessing that was until now that I'm grown up. I would go visit her all the time. She loved plants and her yard was full of irises, ferns, and many hanging pots. She loved dogs and had chickens. There is a certain smell that after it rains that totally reminds me of her house. She and I would walk, talk all the time. One day I stayed the night at her house and we went through an old trunk that was full of her childhood memories. Um, several years ago, her sister, my great aunt Dee, gave me the special trunk. That was a treat. Um, it was my Aunt Yola. It has my Aunt Yola's baby dress and shoes in there, along with locks of hair and old school photos, papers, true treasures. So many memories I have of her, from the cookies she baked for Halloween to her recipe for Aunt Jemima potatoes, which was definitely something she cooked during the Great Depression. I remember being obsessed with scrapbooking and wanted a scrapbook so bad. She told me I could use an old phone book. Who would have known to use the who would have known I use the concept today when junk journaling in old books? She is one of my most favorite people in life. So that's just kind of me talking about her. And so let's go ahead and get as documented. So I almost was going to do a one page segment, but I think I'm going to actually, and I was going to open it up like a book and have a tie here. But I think what I'm going to do is put the wording over here and put her over here and then do the decorating. So, um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, one of the things that I do remember about her is that she loved the color purple. So I thought I would really emphasize by um, by adding some purple um, to my uh, page here. And um, I thought the best thing to do um, would to be add watercolor. So this is what I have on hand right here. I, let me go get my other watercolors. All right, sorry about that. At night, I sit and watercolor while I'm watching television. So they were in there. So I'm just gonna kind of pull out some of my favorite um, ones, which is, these are uh, the Prima Marketing, and these are some new ones I just purchased off of Amazon. They're called uh, Paul Rubens, and they are sparkly. They are so pretty. So I'm gonna definitely add some sparkle. Um, and so I'm just gonna kind of like, just, really add just like this just blop the paper with um with some purple quite a bit of water here um this will be the true tell if these journals work for me because i do um do a lot of watercolor on the background here and i definitely um, i'm curious passionately curious let's just put it that way <laughs> Um, let's see if this is going to get me some sparkle going on here. These, it's kind of a muted color actually. I notice with these uh, particular brand, um, you know, I'm into the brightness of the colors. Let's see what Illustrative Faith has too. Sometimes, let's see if they got a purple. I think they, 
I don't have a purple in here. I think that's blue, which I can do some blue. You can see the, I'm gonna move these. I'm not gonna use the sparkle ones unless I add like a coat on top. But this way you can see that I have added some blue in here. I might do this little, um, I love this color here, this, uh, it's almost like a turquoisey um, blue. So yeah, I'm just going to cover this as a background. Because to be honest, um, I'm going to be having um, the... Uh, Oh, and just real quick, I wanted to tell you guys that I did experiment with um, some a different paintbrush for, because I thought, oh, I'll just use kind of like those painter brushes you guys know that you can get at the Home Depot or any kind of place that um, has, um, where you, you know, paint houses and whatnot. And, uh... Okay, so I'm just I'm just continuously adding uh, paint, but I, I did try to use it with watercolor, <laughs> did not work at all. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside, and the good news about the the watercolor is it really does dry fairly quickly. So that's gonna be the true tell of these papers, and it seems like things are things are going pretty good over here with with this. So I'm gonna set this aside. And we're going to work on picking out some ephemera that will go with this. So I'm just going to put these away. Okay, so I have, I thought with her being such a floral person, I would definitely add some florals. These are um, actually, they're pretty sturdy die cuts. Um... And these are actually, I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. I love that they have die cuts out now. So, um, I thought I would pick a couple of florals out. She really, really loved, um, I say she loved purple and gold, um, but I know purple for sure. And then I have these little, di these little cutouts that I had cut. These are actually paper dolls. And a lot of the pictures that she has, because that picture itself is like from the 1920s. I want to say like 1926. Um, and so her, I really wanted to kind of put that um, into her, into her pages. This is something else that I picked up uh, that I had ordered a while back. If y'all ever use like peachy cheat, they are, um, they are so cool about like having stuff that's, um, kind of marked down a little bit, but these are some die cuts, and I'm just going to kind of flip through these really quick, um, one of a kind, definitely her, another butterfly, St very strong, grateful, amazing, uh, beautiful, so these are, I love it because I thought that these could be great, a swan, I love that, um, these could be great when you're doing your, like, 4th of July, I mean 4th of July, you guys, where did that come from, <laughs> thankful, definitely thankful, um, but, um, I thought I could use these to, uh, when I'm doing my goal setting and things like that, kind of some, some different type of wording there, okay, and then of course these are some different stickers and things like that that I'm going to keep on hand. Here's some stickers that went with that same kit. Um, and these, um, these have all that, also the die cuts in there. I'm, I'm kind of having, gosh, there's Christmas in here. We got to get those out of there. This is just one that I kind of carry around with me. Um, I love these three ring, um, pouches because I have a binder that I, I'll probably do like a little video on that soon. Um, but I leave, I have these where I can take these from room to room with me on, um, different, theme projects um, that I have going on. So this is one that I've been using. But I was saying this is like for New Year's, I had bought this stuff so I could, um, like they have all the stickers and things like that in there. Okay, so we definitely wanna use our template of 
of Passionately Curious. Um, if you don't have this kit, remember you can write that out, you can um, stamp it out, anything goes. Um, let's find some scissors. Okay. So I kind of like was playing around with this. I thought about, like I said, I was going to do one page, but since I'm doing two, we're going to kind of see how this fits on there. And I do like using um, typed out wording, especially if I'm, I do like my handwriting as well because I feel like it's, it's very, you know, um, I don't know, it just makes it seem like it's more of your journal. But with this, I was telling a story, and so I wanted to be able to go in and correct things if I didn't have it. I just wanted to start typing because I was still up in the air. Because um, really, I had thought about doing a bullet journal type thing for um, for her photos. I thought about just kind of doing asking questions like, what was it like, those kind of things, and then... Um, it just took on another avenue, which that's part of journaling, if you ask me. Just kind of, you just never know where things are gonna lead you at. And this is actually a printout. I have the original photos, but I, I, I actually scanned this in, and you could actually take a photo of it, and you could just print those photos out if you don't want to use the original photos but I have a whole book dedicated to her pictures and that's what's so cool about this family my family here is they were such documenters okay this is still a little wet but I am I'm okay with that um, they were such documenters that I have lots of photos I'm so extremely thankful that and that my grandpa we always called him the storyteller and um, I feel like that's a family trait you know <laughs> is that we have everyone that wants they tell their story and I love that so I'm just gonna kinda like play around with this just to see um, what will I need my little my little hands to hold down this corner over here because the page is flipping up on me okay so I'm just gonna kinda like sit play around with these a little bit to see what um, what will look good as far as having these on here I don't know if she really fits in to the look of the page but we'll just kinda keep that open there so I definitely want to have and we can cut that um, um, butterfly up a little bit here. Let's see if I can get finished getting my ephemera out. Let's just pull it all out here. I think this would actually fit on here pretty good. Like the thankful if I needed to okay so I definitely like this over here. It's one of a kind and so I feel like that's a good setting right there and then let's work with this over here a little bit so I think I'm gonna have to cut this up a little bit the thing with these die cuts they're super thick um, and I, I love it don't get me wrong but at the same time it's um, you know what I'm gonna do this I'm going to cut this out because it kind of goes with the rest of these. Actually, let me cut around the edges here. Oh, I like using these words. Let's see if I scoot these over just a little bit if I would have room
And I'm going to cut this butterfly out because we did, I love this butterfly. And I have some Tim Holtz butterflies, but I think they may be a little too big. Um, actually, he does have some smaller ones. I just really want to emphasize her love of plants that she really, um, if you looked at my plants now, you would say, uh, when did, when were you a plant person? <laughs> I literally can't keep anything alive, but I have, I don't have time. <laughs> Um, but I do love plants. That's what my husband's always telling me. He goes, when I first met you, you had all these plants, and I love that, and now you don't do anything. And I'm like, hey, I journal, and I do art, and it's just, you have to pick and choose. These are by Tim Holtz, and I love them. These are really, really pretty. But you have to kind of pick and choose your ha your your things you're going to spend most of your time on and I love I love this okay so I'm pretty happy with the idea and now what I like to do next is just kind of get it down on paper like glue it and then we can start adding some paints if we want to or um or things like that so let's scoot this over get this in the film you guys, that is part of my New Year's, my new 2021 plan, is I am going to to figure out how to film the best that I can. I've been filming this way for years, and I want to change it up and have better. This is, I, I was watching a video yesterday, and it made me totally laugh, because she's like, this isn't Hollywood, and and this isn't and I just want to encourage you guys and inspire you guys to create um, to create in your journals to just kind of do what I do and and hopefully you, I know I'm inspired when I watch YouTube videos and I just want to do the same and so uh, but I do I understand the quality and so um, I am going to work on that you guys so that is something um, that's in the the to-do list for me okay so we're going to and the reason I love these um, I love cutesy things but the reason I love oops this is also my style I've mentioned that before that it's so hard for me sometimes because I love all the things now I do not want to cut her shoes off because I think that's just part of the style of the 20s and I don't want to take away from take away from the photo at all as far as the style and that's what cracks me up because growing up I always knew her as wearing like house dress kind of things and so um, to see her all stylish and her hair all curly and pinned over with their hat. I just love it. And these these are really really thick like I said so it takes a lot of glue to make sure they stay in place. She's definitely one of a kind for sure. Like I said, it's just really amazing to me when I talk to, you know, all us cousins. We were little at the time, but she, uh, my grandfather passed away um, a couple years ago, which was very, very traumatic, I think, for everybody. And we had like a kind of a memorial um, get together and everybody was talking about my Aunt Yola too, that she's just one of these ladies that touch so many people's lives um, in such a good way like you don't ever hear anything negative or strange you know I don't want to say because I hope that no one wants to say anything about the past the ones that have passed okay so um, I'm just looking to kind of in my stickers here to just kind of cover up that little that little dot where you could could have made that into a tag. Okay. 
so we've got that done um, I probably will come in here and write her name and the year like I said I, I saw some other photos in that photo album and um, it had um, I want to say like 1926 is what the day I'm gonna go ahead and go with it was definitely the late 20s and so um, we're gonna go with that okay so this one this page over here and I don't know about you guys but when I paint paper I love that sound <laughs> it's the little things you guys that's what that's what counts in life is the little things that make you happy okay so I'm just going to um, now and I, I glued two pages together I know I've probably mentioned that more than once but I just feel like if this is your first video to ever watch um, I, um, this is one, um, how did I have that? Is it like this? Um, I, um, I put, I glued two pages together, um, of, out of this composition notebook. Because I really wanted durability what is it durability to be able to add the paint because I that's that's me I want to be able to add paint um, in my journals without it messing up the page underneath or where it just doesn't the it just doesn't take or you put a hole in your paper and that kind of thing and it this seems to be the trick this seems to work out really really well okay so I have my wording in here actually we could put um, we could put some washi down the middle if we wanted to okay so I think I'm gonna add some of these wording I'm just kind of placing the wording over here just a little bit to play play around this is a flower that I had kind of I think I painted it myself either that or it was a flower that I added paint to but um, I definitely want to bring in some pink on this because the some of these wordings are is pink as well. I'm gonna add oops, I'm gonna add this little thankful word to this. And So many feelings of um, gratitude that I have when I think of her and my family. And you know what's interesting about these pictures is, you know, this was pre-depression, um, and um, my um, my great grandfather passed away and they all had to move to Austin. Like I said, this was a different generation. I mean, I'd want to say it's a different generation, but, um, you know, my grandpa, he was a little guy in the twenties. So I think he moved to Austin, which was, you know, the big city when he was 12 and they were so poor. You ought to see all the jobs. I mean, it's so interesting to hear all the jobs that, cause he had to help. Um, help out financially and with with the family okay so I think I'm going to put this word over here the passionately curious um just because I don't know I'm just it's just I'm just feeling it I'm feeling it that it needs to go over here all right you guys so see that was pretty pretty done let's go I'm gonna get some washi and see if we can um, find some really pretty like whoops ran into my light um, 
find some maybe some yellow or ooh, this might work out pretty. Um I know I've talked about this in my videos before, but yellow washi is for me is definitely something that's kind of hard to come by. <laughs> but I found some. Um and I was sent some in a Happy Mail, which was pretty awesome. Oh, the hearts are perfect. I love the hearts for this. Okay, let's see what we can do with that. Okay. So I've got definitely lots of florals and some hearts. So let's, let's run this pretty yellow washi. Oops. Ah! We know we all have that has happened to us before. Okay. So. Add that down the middle. Brings a little whimsy in there. Got my little kindergarten scissors here. <laughs> oh, there's my other ones. Hey, they work, right? <laughs> okay, so I think what I'm going to do is add, um, I think I'm going to add some along this seam here. Let's see here. They look exactly the same, but I love, I love, love, love this roses. I'm sure this came in one of the kits. Let's see if I can find, there we go, the ending. Make sure I don't get. Oh, I think this has. What is? Oh, did I do three pages together? What's this one? This one's two. This is three. I guess on this one, I accidentally glued three pages. That's okay. That's that. Actually, maybe that's why that watercolor went so well. I think there was a few here and there that I did three on, but um. Okay, which means that as fluffy as my journals get, they'll be filled up really quickly. Okay, I'm just going to trim this off here. Okay. I feel like I need to add one over here because it just doesn't seem complete unless I have another... Um, one for my visual ooh this is nice washi it's really pretty too Oop. So we bordered this paper. I don't think on this sheet here, I um, I did my little rolling pin. I found out late in the game when I was gluing those pages that you definitely have to do your little rolly. What I mean by rolly is this thing because it really helps keep that glue from bubbling up. But if that doesn't bother you, which it doesn't really bother me too much, um, then we're good. Okay, so with that being done, um, let's add a few stickers here and there, and then I'm going to call this, oh, we need to write our name, um, and then I'm going to call this, this page complete. Um, love, that's a good one. Shoot, we could finish these out, these wording out. 
Um, this is that super um, great kit. Let's see, it's Simple Stories and it's called I Am. And I have used this a lot. So um, if you see it, um, I suggest it. It's a good, it seems like it's a good. I'm going to add some more flour. I'm just going to kind of do like a little tiered decoration down the side here. Some little stars. Because she sparkled in all of our lives. butterflies would be pretty. Ooh, look at this pretty one. Oh, look, I talk about the hanging baskets. I don't think I have space for that hanging basket, but I didn't see that earlier. I need to add something down over here. Let's see if we can find... Oh, here's a flower. Let's see if we have a big butterfly, though. Or, well, Tim Holtz, but let's look at Tim's. Because I feel like I need a fairly large... Oh, it's looking so pretty, you guys. I love the butterflies. Okay, so let's add that one. And then let's do another one at the top. Is that too big? Let's see. Or too orange? Um, I was reading um, a journal, uh, I mean, I was looking at, I love the idea of having no rules when you come to journaling. You know, you if the colors aren't perfectly fine, that is okay. I love all the butterflies. What do you guys think? Orange, I think the orange is actually better. I'm going to end up covering that star up. Let's see if we can move it. Move it over here. Kind of tore up the page a little bit, but... Save tea. Okay. I'm happy. Happy, happy. Whoops. Got glue all over me. Oh, no one. So the other day, I guess it was yesterday, I laughed because I always have glitter all over me. Like, we could even put glitter on this page, but. Uh oh, my ideas are running. Uh, <laughs> actually, I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, and my husband likes to give me such a hard time about, oh my gosh, you got glitter all over your face. And I'm like, he goes, what do you usually say? And I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And he said, you always say that means I'm having a good day. And tell me if that's not the truth, right? Oh, I didn't. I did not color in. I mean, put this, glue this butterfly on here. Okay. Ooh, this marker. I love these fabric faber casts. I've had these for years. I don't know. I think I need to invest in some new markers because several of mine are like running out. Even though I use, I, I am not opposed to using just um, uh, the Crayola markers. They work perfectly on your journaling pages and they are really inexpensive and you can get them anywhere. And uh, let me emphasize, totally inexpensive. Because <laughs> I know a lot of these arts um, markers, which I do like because these are like watercolor. You know, you could add water to them and they would definitely um, do, I mean, you could use them as paint. And I do like to do that as well. They just happen to be here, but um, I'm big on... Um, just using Crayola markers too. 
All right. I think I need to add a few little purplish to bring it all together. And the reason I'm emphasizing purple is I just know that she loved that color. So I think I'm gonna what I think I'm gonna do for her name, and I don't have it with me right now, so I'm, I'll do that, and then it'll you'll see it in the final um, look of the page is um, I'm going to type it up because I don't have a lot of space and I think that would just tie in this wording over here. Um, so yeah, so I'm happy with this you guys and so I'll go type that name up and the date, add it in here and then um, show you guys um, the final page. Alright, I hope you're inspired to what are you passionately curious about? Go just anything. It could be about markers. It could be about um, you know, other lives, cities, places you want to visit. That's always, believe me, that was a toss up too. Um, so, I'm just adding some. You guys, you know, I could spend all day adding different things to um, my, my journal pages, but sometimes I just like to add a little bit more, more color. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and have a super sparkly day.